I mean, did you feel sorry for me when I had to wear that cowboy outfit to her celebrity AIDS hoedown? That was different. How? It was you. <laughs> yeah, well, now it's you. Yippee ki yay, mother accompanier. Your town car's here. Terrific. Come on. Now, I have been to a lot of these things with Mom, and I know you think it's gonna be bad, but believe me, it's gonna be worse than you can even imagine. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? You just love seeing me unhappy. Oh, yeah. I mean, did you feel sorry for me when I had to wear that cowboy outfit to her celebrity AIDS hoedown? That was different. How? It was you. Yeah, well, now it's you. Yippee ki yay, mother accompanier. <laughs> Want a few tips? Like what? Well, let's see. Uh, Mom likes to starve herself for a few days before these events so she can fit into her gown. That means she'll be knocking back vodka gimlets on a completely empty stomach. Jeez, she can be a cranky drunk. Cranky. I got bitch slapped with my own 10-gallon hat. <laughs> So, what's the tip? Don't wear a 10-gallon hat? All you have to do is bring along a little baggie of crackers. You know, uh, saltines, goldfish, anything you can stuff down her throat to soak up the booze. How about a throw pillow? <laughs> oh, oh, and whatever you do, don't let her take off her shoes. Why not? Well, A, you'll be carrying them all night, and B, you'll wind up giving her a foot massage in the lobby, and that's not something anybody wants to see. God. Not to mention the fact that it puts you on bunion patrol. Anyway, have fun. <laughs> I'm off to pick up a beautiful, smart, funny, sexually available woman who, best of all, is not my mother. <laughs> Give it time, you'll get her there. In consideration of the evening you have ahead of you, I'm gonna let you have that one. <laughs> yeah, these are the good times. <laughs> Another gimlet, please. Are you sure you don't want to wheat then? Hmm, <clears throat> weedy. Now I need the liquor to dull the pain. My shoes are killing me. Yeah, but they look wonderful on your feet, right where they are now. <laughs> oh, look who's over there. Who? One of the most powerful union leaders in Hollywood. What about him? <laughs> really? The mob? Yeah. They say he killed a writer once just to make a point. What was the point? I can kill a writer. 